What is up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Lean Tendo here. And uh, before we get into anything, I'm going to say right now that this is going to be a video, not necessarily about Blue Protocol and kind of a video about how we're going to handle moving forward with the channel. And on top of that, I also want to apologize because I realized that the video that I recently put out on Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon was not the best. Truthfully, I am very sorry about that. I originally had edited edited the video so it would be a three hour long video out of the five to eight hours that I played. But for some reason during the upload, it only came out as 44 minutes and I only realized it after the video had already premiered. And uh, yeah, I just want to apologize about that because the content that I want to put out on my channel, I want it to be good and worthwhile, worth watching. I know the quality isn't necessarily the best and that's because I have to grow as, as a content creator so I can upgrade my stuff and make better content. But that's besides the point, all right? This video is kind of just an update about what I think I might be going forward into. With this tweet, I just recently checked out from Bull, uh, Bull Pro or Blue Protocol. And um, I had, you know, looked at it and found out that they were going to be involved with the Tokyo Game Show 2023 and that they'd have all types of stuff with a um, Twitter campaign. And I decided to do a little bit of digging and see what was going on. So I clicked this thing and it took me to a site, Bandai Namco, all this cool stuff. And I immediately saw some things that I was very interested in. Um, and as I'm going through it, I then clicked on another thing and I saw this, this caught my eye. Um, Sin Duality Echo of Ada, Ada, I don't know. Regardless, the reason why this caught my eye was because if you know me, I watch anime every day, all the time. And there's this new anime that recently came out called Sin Duality. Immediately, I'm like, oh my God, did they make a game? Because while I was watching the anime, which I love a lot, it's a mecha anime. Um, I love mecha anime, it's my favorite genre. But regardless, I was thinking as I was watching it, wouldn't it be cool if they made a video game about this game or anime? And then I saw this and it blew my mind. I'm like, no way. So I clicked it. And by the way, this is all happening right now. I had to make a video about it because I think actually, no, I know that I'm going to have to play this game. Um, and here we go. Let's let's go over here. So I haven't watched this yet, but I want to watch it with you guys and, you know, maybe react to it. But um, if you don't know what what this is, it's pretty much or the, at least the anime. It's uh, I forgot the main character's name already. I'm sorry. But so in this anime, it's like a not post apocalyptic world, but it's like in the future. I don't even think it's on Earth, to be honest. But um, you'll have these. Uh, OK, world. Here we go. Stuff like here. So you'll have a drifter, right? And the drifter will pilot a coffin, but not alone. The drifter will pilot a coffin with a magus. And pretty much they will go around trying to either destroy, kill Enders, which are like kind of like the big bad antagonist monsters of their world. Um, and also make money by farming this gigantic red crystal. These are the coffins right here. This would be the Magus right here. And then this is a drifter, um, stuff like that. I was really interested in this because I liked, oh, this is the anime, by the way, an amazing anime, definitely give it a watch. But I was very interested just because I like mechs and I like the whole entire premise of it. And I was thinking if they made this a video game, it'd be cool if it was like a PVP slash PVE type of thing, just because in the anime, sometimes drifters fight drifters and they fight enders, all that. It's kind of cool. I like it a lot. So let's let's check out the video really quick. I want to see what it's about. Um, okay, qualities. All right, let's see. Very interested in this. Very, very interested. Whoa, the graphics look crazy. Whoa, this is like kind of looks like Fantasy Star. New Genesis graphics here. Whoa, whoa. It looks just like the anime. Wait, what type of game is this, though? Yeah, so that's the red crystal that they're always farming for money. And what I'm hoping is that you're able to customize your coffin, kind of like in the anime. Whoa, looks like some boss fights, I see. It's looking like all PvE, which is completely fine with me. I play Monster Hunter. I like PvE games, but it would be cool if there was PvP. 
Oh yeah, by the way, some of the Maguses, um, depending on their model, have like a kind of, uh, what is it called? Elemental power. So they'll, they'll empower the coffin with the help of the drifter and kind of make it like do crazy stuff. So 2023, by the way, that is why I'm so excited. Oh my God, 2023, that's so soon. That's now, what am I saying? That's so soon. So I want to see if I can get some better um, drive back with partner Megas, PVP, PVP, PVE shooter to complete for uh, compete for items on the ground. Okay, this is going to be crazy. So right here, that's the Megas floating behind um, the coffin. But technically, the Megas is going to be inside of the coffin in the back piece right here. And then you're piloting it. But this is crazy because if this is going to be a PVP, PVE, that means that you'll be able to. Oh, my God, that's exactly what I want. Um. So yeah, I'm very excited about this and uh, I'm probably most definitely going to be playing this game and I just wanted to make a video about it because like it really piqued my interest and I'm honestly probably going to be watching the um, Tokyo game uh, game show for uh, more information on stuff like that. So I'm very, 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 very excited. Tekken 8, I'm probably not going to play, but there's a lot of cool games I'm really excited to play. And yeah, I just wanted to make a video about this and kind of, I guess, talk to you guys about it. So if this is interesting to you guys and you want to see me stream it, uh, make sure to check out my Twitch because that's where I'll be doing it. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And again, I'm really sorry about the Armored Core mess. I'm probably going to have to like stream the game on YouTube. That way, like everything just goes straight to YouTube instead of me having to stream it on t uh, Twitch and then cut it up and then all that stuff because I'm a terrible editor. I'm not good at any of this. I'm just kind of getting into YouTube, really like learning how to do stuff with Premiere and all this stuff. So thank you guys for your patience and thank you guys for your continued support. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm really looking forward to this game and I hope you guys have an amazing day, afternoon, night, whatever it is for you. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Peace.